trying something different. Hello. Cheers. That shit is smooth. Got another mail day. And it's uh, another Deathgasm um, grab bag. I also purchased this shirt since they were having a clearance on a bunch. And I found one that was pretty damn dang for, uh, I think it was like five bucks or something. But let's see what this one contains. Like, I'm super interested since the uh, last one was like a huge uh, net positive for me as far as um, what albums I got and the, the variety and everything. And I think that is everything. This is the shirt I purchased. This is a Val Seth Black Curse shirt. This is from the split or the seven inch that they did some time ago. It looks really cool. I mean, like I said, five bucks. I'm definitely going to go ahead and pick one up. So let's start out. This one is some odd shaped looking thing. And like I said, I don't know anything what they're going to put. I just was very thrilled and happy with the last grab bag I did that I felt that I should take advantage of it again. This has a Imperative Music Volume uh, 26, the Global Metal Compilation. Almost looks like a Nile album. Bunch of bands. Uh, Belfagor and Death Tale. A lot of these actually I do not know. So, oh, suffocations on here as well, but yeah, interesting. And this is Shin Novik uh, just Jesus Christ. Just sign or something. Okay. Sorry, no, starting over. Doesn't matter. So, this looks like uh, it's put out by Starlight Temple Society. Um, have no idea what this would be. Interesting, to say the least. Maybe it's some more metal, like that one, um, just, just strong, fun, whatever the hell band I'm interested in. It, either way. Now, let's see what this first pack contains. Okay. This is Quintia Essentia. Archetypal Transformation. I think I got this one in from the last one. Uh, uh, it's melodic death metal. Now, cool and all, but I just don't remember if I have this one or if that's the one that came with my last uh, grab bag or not. Okay. Next up is Sitier. S-Y-T-R-Y. I know I have this. So it's black metal. This is uh, 612 of, out of 1,000. I mean, it was pretty good. I just, I think I already have this one. Now, I think we're getting into some stuff that, yeah, I definitely don't have and is quite interesting. This is Terminate, Ascend to Red Haven, Heavens. Put out by Self Made God. Might be uh, grinding death metal is my assumption. I don't think I know, but uh, I really like the artwork and everything on it. So, that will be a good listen, probably for today. I have Yellow Tooth, The Burning Illusion. I think I got a Yellow Tooth album in on the last one as well, but I don't think it was this. Guess I'll find out when I go through and uh, update my CD list. This only got the back cover maybe it just came as a I don't know uh Crevillian Heathen Madness 
2001 to 2006. It says it's 189 of 333. So, looks like some uh, good black metal. It's a compilation of songs created by Pan Dominic and Volsval. Okay, well, cool. Just, I don't know if that's how it came. It's just a sleeve in the CD or, you know, they put it in a jewel case so it can survive the uh, shipment out. Okay. This is Morbid Execution, Vulgar Darkness. Um, I mean, I don't mind this type of artwork, but I, <laughs> pairing it with this on the back, I prefer the back with a, just classical art. I mean, especially since, like, everything else is, like, the front cover, sketchy and scratchy. So I'm assuming this is going to be, uh, you know, obviously, uh, black metal, or black end at least. This is Nexus 6, A Strange Habit. Looks like some, put out by Extreme Music. It's like some uh, pro-Russian or something. Interesting to say the least. Ah, excellent. Another nominal one. Decades of Abomination. This looks like a collection of demos. I'm pretty certain. Because... Oh, yep, remastered, refreshed. So, very awesome. I love the artwork, of course. I not, love this band. Good death metal. All I can uh, say about that. This is Painful Memories. Memorial to Suffering. Put out by Solitude Productions. I'm assuming this is going to be a Death Doom sort of a release. As I have a heart attack and drop it. Eh, art is pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of burn through them since... Oh, this is awesome. This is a Philobotite. Philobotite. The Lamba Batai. I can't say shit, whatever. It's this man. I don't have this. This is Devoted to God in Search of Tranquility. I think it's two different um, releases released on this single one. Yep, and there's the original arts and stuff. Um, just ugly death metal. Best I could say. I mean, it's been a while since I've listened to them. Uh, I don't have any other material, so I'm quite happy to have that. This is Possessed Entity, Extermination of Angelic Parasites. Looks like some Chrysian or uh, mental horror type of stuff. Put out by Pathos Productions and Comatose Music. So I expect some non-stop blast beats. Cool artwork. Uh, let's put out this one because I see that's another abominate on here. On top. I don't think I have that album either. And this is Abominate Upon Black Horizons. Definitely do not have this one. So that's pretty awesome. Um, no, just good ass death metal. Oh, God damn. It's like I'm breaking shit and trying to drop the CDs immediately. Ugh. Whatever, I'll put it back together properly after the fact. Uh, Agathocles and Sioneurosis. Split CD. Can never have enough agathocles. So, very cool. Which, I mean, 
Godfathers of Mints. I don't know, psychoneurosis. So that will be uh, new to me. This is Astral Rebirth. The Axis of Utter Black Ocean. Five songs in 36 minutes because it has the run time on the back. So, oh, four songs. I don't know why I said five. So I'm assuming this is going to be some more Death Doom or Doomy. Might be uh, atmospheric blackmail for all I know. This is Atheos. Awakening of Atheos. Cool artwork. I think I have something else from them. Or maybe I got something from the previous one. Either way, um, cool deal. I mean, I still haven't checked it out, so I don't know what to tell you. But tell anyone. This is Avulsion. Indoctrination into the Cult of Death. Cool looking artwork, definitely. Put out by Tribulation Productions and licensed from Deathgasm Records. Looks like a cool digipack. Looks like cool stuff. This band I do know. I don't think I have this album. This is Collision with Oblivion by uh, Chaos Inception. Fucking just blazingly fast fucking death metal. Fucking just awesome, awesome band. Very, very good shit. I know I have at least two of their albums, but I don't have this one. When did this come out? Uh, 2009. Okay, earlier shit, so I don't have that. This is Corpse Grinder. Perpetual Purgatory. This is Corpse Grinder as in two words. Didn't think there was a Corpse Grinder band. This came out in 2014 or 15, something like that. like some Texas death metal. Maybe they're just hanging out there. Ah. Get another swig. <clears throat> and here's the last stack. Let's see if I made the correct decision. I'm putting this one last instead of uh, beforehand, like I originally was about to grab. Now, let's pull out this goofy looking shit. This is La Hijad del Carnero, Culto Macabro. I know this is from one of those um, when they first started doing photo trickery. We have some more of that on the back. Have no idea what it is. Assuming death metal. I mean we got guys in Burzum shirt, Cranium, and Slayer. So it could be anything put out by Ablaze Productions. I mean could be black metal, could could just be grind, could be death metal, who knows? This is Decapitated, with a K. Sin Miscordia. Cool looking artwork. Everybody on back with their white shoes. I mean, obviously, it's thrash metal since they have it listed that they're thrash metal. Six songs. That includes an intro and an outro. This should be a little fun thing. Put out by Morbid Skull Records. That's odd. Uh, this is a uh, demonic temple in Cretinium. And it has the. Uh, how many it is, which is 352 out of 500 by Dark Horizon Records. Comes with a cool sticker in the back. Really dank artwork. I'm assuming it's black metal, but. I mean, I could be proven wrong, but it looks pretty damn dank. This is the Everlasting Dark, Return to Darkness. 
Not sure what it would be. I mean, it could be some gothic bullshit. I mean, because it has like succuba and vampiria, tears of heaven, gleam of hope. I mean, they're not happy chaps, that's for sure. Yeah, I see violin in here. I mean, could be some of that. You know, like uh, My Dying Bride. Death, doom. Interesting. This is Infinium Obscure. Ascension through the luminous black. I have some Infinium, Infinium Obscure. Good death metal. Got a little bit of uh, melodic tinge to it. But I do not have this album, so that's pretty awesome. Good looking digipack. And these last two. This is a split. This is Ur, the, uh, the Regime, and Urge, Solution to My Agony. Split album. So, okay. Don't know what it could be. Looks like a lot of um, black metal. Could be war metal. I don't know, see AK-47's in the uh, logo of Ur, so, interesting. And this last one, I'm assuming is suicidal, depressive suicidal black metal, because this is Live, Suffer, Die, a voice from beyond death. I mean, they got nooses in their uh, logo and everything, so, I'm assuming sadness, Five songs. They got razor blades on the back. I haven't listened to this band before, but we'll see. Put out by more um, Morbid Bun Records. So, cool deal. Pretty interesting stack. Do not know a lot of them. Uh, I got some really good picks out of this, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I guess that's about all I have to say for that. So. Cheers.